hello there welcome and thanks for clicking on the video hope you guys are having a blessed day this is Nate today we are at uh, Majestic Homes in uh, Billings of Montana looking at this uh, really nice double wide three bedroom two bath home I don't have the uh, model number for this one right off the top of my head. I do know this one is made by Palm Harbor Homes. So this one's traveled a little ways. Palm Harbor Homes are made in uh, kind of mid, mid area of Oregon. And so we are on the uh, kind of the little more of the eastern side of the state in Montana. So uh, this home has uh, traveled quite a ways. You got a uh, nice sliding glass door back here. Sorry, trying to be real brief on the outside here. These are really close together, as you can see. But uh, once we get inside, I'm sure you're really gonna like what you see. Now mind you, there's no underpinnings on this. These are show models. You kind of order off of these. So, uh, head on in. We ready? Now this one does have a more of an open floor plan as you can tell when you walk in. You've got your living room here and your kitchen and dining room are all kind of wide open. But I do like that really big set of windows. A little bit of a vaulted ceiling there. Now mind you this home is uh, not fully trimmed out so keep that in mind. Hence the reason why you see the crack in the wall there. Really big living room though. Lots of natural light coming in. There currently are no lights on in the living room. So with no table in here, it's hard to tell how big this dining room is, but uh, it is a fairly large dining room area. Nice big island. Of course, they've got a lot of the options laid out here. Now, as I was saying in the uh, preview, or as we were walking the outside, Palm Harbor homes are made in Oregon, I'm originally from Oregon, so I thought it was really cool as I was kind of walking through doing my tour, just kind of looking at it, I saw that. Coos Bay happens to be the town that I grew up in. So these are the options you get if you get what they call the Coos Bay option. This is some of your shower tiles that you can get. These are some of your countertops that you can get. Those are actual stone. And these are some of the laminates. Anyway, so we got the stainless steel appliances. These are Whirlpool appliances. There's a gas stove, so I would option in, as I've stated in previous videos, the uh, electric stove. I just don't cook well with glass, or with gas. Yeah, most people don't cook well with glass. Kind of hard to cook with glass. It doesn't get very hot. 
I like your backsplash goes almost to the bottom of your cupboards there. Even get stainless steel on your uh, outlets here. That's kind of a unique feature. I can't say that I've seen that. Light switch is even stainless steel. It's uh well that's plastic, but stainless steel colored, so that's a uh, kind of unique. Something I've never seen before. And a good size pantry in here. It is walk-in. Not the biggest pantry, but uh, definitely a nice walk-in pantry. Back door. Good size uh, utility room. Now there's no counters in here. But I like that there's a recessed area. You can put a full-size freezer in there. That's going to be your uh, furnace, obviously. There would be a cover over that when this is all set up and delivered and all that good stuff. I really like the colors they used. It's not the uh, standard white that you see most often. I'll head down here and check out your bedrooms and bathroom. Now the bathroom is a little on the dark side with just that one light, but you can almost stand to use a light in the fan up there. A good size counter space in here. Hello, Raiden. I like that they got the big tall backsplash on your counters here especially if you got kids and kids like to splash around I know mine does send him in here send him in at night to uh, use the bathroom brush his teeth before he goes to bed and he decides he has to start playing with the water splashing around in the sink and he was in there a couple nights ago been in there for a while and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. And I walk in, check on him. And he's got a cup and he took the reel off his fishing pole and stuck it in the cup. He said he was washing his reel. I'm like, what are you doing? It's a good sized bedroom. One thing I do like about these bedrooms a really big closet. I mean, like these closets are almost as big as some of the master closets I've seen in some homes. A big walk-in closet. And once again, mind you, this home isn't fully trimmed out. That's why you see the gaps in the walls and the things like that. Once this home is fully set up, you won't see any of that stuff. And these bedrooms, are really big bedrooms actually. They're probably just as big, if not bigger, than some of the master bedrooms you see in single wides. So these are really good sized bedrooms. Even bigger than some of the bedrooms you see in some double wides. Once again, really large closet. All right, let's go down here and check out the uh, the main event. Ding, ding, ding. All right. Round one. Here we go. Now, <laughs> I should be able to do this in one take. I hope so anyway. So you've got, of course, I didn't close that door, but you've got his and her closets, or maybe his and hers who knows guess you decide that when you uh 
make this your own home and get it all set up. So we'll get the door out of the way here so we can get the full size of the closet here. So that was a good size closet. Again, we got nice big bedroom here. Then we'll go check out closet number two. It's kind of nice to see, uh, so if the closet's not really big, it's kind of nice to see that there is two of them. So it gives you plenty of space still for closets. That is gonna be your hot water access. Or I guess if you need to access it, probably not hot because it's probably not working properly. So should we call it cold water access? I know, jokes aside. Water heater, not hot water heater because you don't heat hot water. So we're going to go ahead and check out your bathroom here. Nice big dual sinks, dual vanity, recessed lighting up above. I like the uh, dark backsplash they got here. It's about the same as what they got in the uh, kids' bathroom. But lots of storage space down below. It's gonna be your, uh, obviously your private area. And then we get this big old shower. What I do like these hooks they put up here. It's kind of nice. You got three sets of hooks. You can hang, well, we guess the women can hang their bathrobe there. The guys can hang their towels up. Easy access when you get out of the, out of the shower there. It's a really big shower. Obviously it hasn't been, glass hasn't been cleaned since it was set up. You can see fingerprints and stuff all over it. But nice set of windows up above you there. So I hope you guys have liked the video. Don't forget to uh, leave me a comment down below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to uh, turn on notifications. That way you get uh, notified every time I upload a video. Currently uploading every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So three times a week now. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.